Today we're going to look at light meters and why these things are completely different to the light meters inside your camera. Yeah, I, I put out a Q&A last night on my Instagram to ask kind of what people wanted to uh, hear more about and every single person was either flash, lighting, or my light meter. Uh, so here we are. I think one of the biggest reasons is why do I have an external light meter? Uh, what are the differences, the challenges, the pros and cons of using a light meter? Before we get into the video, just want to mention the light meter I've got. It's a Zaconic L558. Pick this one up for a very good price. Uh, you generally expect to pay around 100 for any decent light meter. In 2020 and beyond, don't get yourself a 60s or 70s analog light meter. They're failing, they don't work, they're inaccurate. What you're looking for is something which is reliable and consistent and repeatable each time. The advantages about this specific light meter, it's got a um, retractable sphere on the front and it's also got a spot meter. Let me just explain with pictures how advantageous it is to have an external handheld light meter. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to draw a cameraman tree just over here, up here, sun. What happens is sunlight comes down this way, it bounces and it hits your camera. This is 100% of the light leaving the light source hitting your subject and then only a fraction, let's put some percentage, only a fraction bounces off. And this is why we can see things. So all the light spectrum, the reds, yellows, greens, blues, orange, whatever, they all hit a subject. And say that subject is green. We've got a nice green tree here. The reason why we see it as green is green is the only frequency of light, the color of light that bounces off the subject. So it absorbed all the reds, all the yellows, all the blues, all the all the other colors basically it absorbed them in and the only one that reflected off is green. So that's why we see a green tree. 100% of the light spectrum goes in, it absorbs a load of it and then some comes out. This leaving light source is going to be dimmer than the one that hit it. Your internal light meters are here and they are going outwards and they are reading what is being bounced off the tree. So if we've got a dark subject, so we've got like a black car or something, that's absorbed like nearly all of the light. That's why it's black, because you can barely see any of the light bouncing off it. That's not the same strength of light that's hitting it, right? So what we need is an external light meter. What that can do is you can put the external light meter in the path of the light source, in this case the sun, it's going to read 100% of the light about to hit the subject and you can use that meter reading to calibrate your camera to get the exact perfect result. Now which one to use? Uh, there's a very simple method to figuring out which one. Are you, where you are positioned, in the same light as your subject? Okay, so if, if the sun is illuminating your, your subject, your car, your model, your whatever, your bride and groom, if they're being lit by the sun and you're in the same light, so it, it doesn't make a difference if you can meter here or 20 foot away where the, uh, the, the subject is, use the sphere. If you're in a different kind of light, so maybe your subject is in shade or maybe you're in shade and they're in different light, that's where you use the spot meter. You can take a sample meter reading of a subject or a color or a part of a building. Uh, so you remember that this is the light that's hit a subject and is now bouncing off, uh, but you can meter for that. So you say, oh look, there's mountains over there in the distance. I can train this, I can look straight through the kind of the eye bit here. And once I kind of uh, aim with the reticle here at the mountain, I hit the side button, gives me a meter reading and uh, I can work my way backwards from there. If you like the content and you consider sticking around in the future, follow me on Instagram at sparkman underscore UK. See you in a future video.